So we're talking about moving average, and I am using the website called tradingview.com. Um, it's free and it's available to everyone, so that's why I'm using it. You could use anything you like. So what I have here is Apple on a daily basis. Uh, each candle that you look at is uh, one day's data. Uh, low, low of the day, high of the day, opening of the day, and then the closing of the day, or opening of the day and the closing of the day. That's your candle. Now let's draw in a moving average, and then I'll, I'll explain what it is. I went to indicators right here. Um, moving average is a built-in almost in every technical analysis website. I'm going to choose moving average. Now you see it actually comes with some standard style. Uh, let's have red one for this one. And then it comes with a nine days of a moving average. I'll just go with 50 days. So what it does is very simple. It actually takes the average closing price for the past 50 days. And that's that red line right here. And averages, or it's the price average of the past 50 days closing values. So when we trade in the market, the trading price reflects the market's perception of the stock or of the stock's value. So in this case, Apple at around this point had a price of $216, which market was very optimistic and they just kept bidding it up. They just kept buying it and buying it so much that the price actually went to $216. Now the true value of a stock Unfortunately, we don't know that, but the trading value will be an equilibrium price. It's an equilibrium between the bears and the bulls. And at that price, bulls have purchased so much that the equilibrium price became $216. That is the trading value. Now, in any given day, bears and the bulls could have some information or some news that made them believe that the value is supposed to be $216. Now, people can overreact, people can underreact. People may have persistent beliefs about the stock's value. However, if you take an average of the 50 days or past 50 days, a moving 50 day window every day, then the price average will reflect the information that's available to everybody for those 50-day windows. So a 50-day moving average will be immune from daily deviations impact on the price of the stock. So it will be an average price based on the information that was available or the news that was available to everybody for the past 50 days. So we consider this to be a little bit better or this price would be a little bit better, uh, a little bit closer to the real value than inflated value or overpriced or underpriced value. And therefore, the more information we include into this, and the more um, time that we include into this, this will be considered to be almost the most equilibrium that it's gonna get. So in any given day, if the price is significantly higher than this, that may, may signal to us that the stock price is trading, um, on this case, on the bullish or the bullish um, notion or the bullish enthusiasm uh, that drives the price into an overbought territory. Now, if you're significantly below, then we are trading on a bearish enthusiasm and therefore we are to, you know, going towards an oversold territory. So having a 50 day moving average gives us that notion of what the 
shorter term, perhaps daily or perhaps weekly, um, price or trading enthusiasm moved the stock from its ongoing moving average. So in this case, that's the 50 days. Let's include another one. Let's include another moving average, perhaps a little longer. And this time let's include a 200 day moving average with a style of green. So what you're looking at now is actually quite interesting because on a 200 trading days, which is about a year, the price is at around $191. So looking at the 216, we're definitely above into a overbought territory. And looking at 180, I think that compared to 200 day moving average, we are in the oversold territory. But there's something interesting right here. When the 50 day actually breaks above the 200 day, then we conclude that the most recent uh, perception among the traders for Apple is significantly more positive or optimistic than the ongoing 200 day uh, perception. Therefore, we consider this to be what's called a golden cross, and that's a very significant bullish uh, signal. It doesn't mean you know the price is going to go up, but it is an indication that a lot of people believe into, and it is referred to as a golden cross, and that's a very strong uh, bullish signal. So that's what moving average is, and that's how we use it. So thank you.